We're gonna follow the sugar pine. I thought I'd bring you guys along. It leans back, but it is what we in the industry would call somewhat pretty much fair standing, which means you could send it nearly any direction. Obviously, because of the crowding of the other trees, it would be easiest to take it out here somewhere, but the collateral damage would be too much. So since it's somewhat fair standing, we'll take it out this way. not supposed to disturb the rocks so I'm gonna try to get this guy to come through here without rock disturbing the face cut shows it hitting these rocks here but the bend of the tree I'm hoping will make it lay down the trail and go across those oak stumps Check out this tree. So it leans stupidly hard. It's madrone, so it's brittle. You don't want to damage this tree. This is one that they're keeping. And this thing leans hard past it. So I have to get it to go that way. So I cut off one limb off this side, which could break down and scar that and it's madrone so it's very brittle but i think i'll be able to get it to hinge using a nike swoosh and i have a little bit of weight this way so the tree actually is going out toward that other tree it sweeps back a little bit up there it has back weight which won't be a problem at all it'll help ballast a little bit this will be important that little bit might be helpful because I'm gonna want it to go that way and not rake down that other tree. Because the predominant weight out there is gonna be the most influential of all the things I'm looking at, which could cause collateral here, and I'm not going to allow that.
shot if you know what we're dealing with as far as weight and species wood constitution that was like absolutely ideal for to be able to do that with just the saw and the weight distribution of the tree without adding machinery or rope or anything it's cool to know when you can do something and then accomplish it this madrone good stuff of course we use we burn some of it at my house in the winter it's it's the best but I have so much of a byproduct I guess you'd call from being a tree man that I have some to give away and I'm actually giving this load of wood to a guy in the church that wouldn't have it if well, where he lives, they don't have any good stuff. They just have juniper and stuff like that. I'm going to deliver that this weekend. It's been on my mind. We had this little family meeting with my kids, and I want to make sure that when we go to church, we don't just go to see what we can get, you know, to, to get recharged. That's one thing. It's definitely a good thing. But I want us to show up with something to offer. And I guess I'm kind of a late bloomer, but I haven't always had that mindset. I've always been seeing it as like a rest day. And so you kind of, you kind of recharge, you know, you go to church, you hear something inspirational, you sort of rub shoulders with other people who are like-minded and then it's, it's supposed to make you, uh, it's like a checkpoint in life you have a steady checkpoint a steady battery charge anyway i've begun to think that i should have more to contribute though we show up at the potluck big family and oftentimes uh, we don't bring anything but we sure take a lot so i read this article about showing up to serve and i asked my kids what would be the dream reaction of the writer of this article what would he think the dream reaction of the reader would be and uh, my kids one of them said well that you read it and I'm all yeah that that would be a nice reaction but not the dream reaction because the the subject matter was all about do you show up to serve or show up to be served so another one of my kids says that you plan to serve? That you say you'll serve? Yeah, that's a nice reaction, but that's not, not as good. That you commit to serve? Yeah, that's pretty good. But what would be the dream reaction? Oh, my son, my oldest boy, he said, that you get started now. So that you, you put the article down and you actually stand up and you go prepare something to bring. And so I got a little boy here and Joey and he, he says well I'll draw a picture I'll draw a picture for uh, one of the men there when he's a helicopter pilot so he says I'll go draw him a picture so he draws him a picture my girls said well we'll make snacks so they make snacks and one by one everybody has something to bring I brought a card 
for an elderly lady. So the reason this has on, been on my mind lately is because my daughter and I had this idea before we even read this article. And we're like, we're gonna start showing up with stuff. We'll just take one person at church of like the 50 people or whatever, and it'll be about them and we'll write them a card and say, hey, good job, uh, want to encourage you, whatever, give them a little gift or something like that. And we're all, well, who should we start with? So we picked this awesome guy. He happens to be quite old. He actually was persecuted by the Germans in World War II. He barely made it out with his life. He's an old man. Anyway, we're all, we'll start with Vincent. And we're all, good plan. But the thing is, we never actually prepared a card. We never actually did anything. And a couple of weeks went by and Vincent died. And it just was like, ah, oh, wow, of all the, of all the, why didn't we start sooner? And it's not like it's gonna make or break the guy's life to get a card from us, but it drove the point home that it would be better to take action and actually follow through. So a tragic event, he died, he had a stroke and he fell and he didn't make it. But what we took from it was a conviction to show up with something. So I guess if I could leave you with something, since I'm allowed to do that, since it's my channel and I'm the one that makes content here, I would say if you thought of something good that you want to do for someone, words you want to say, a phone call, a letter, some kind of good deed, some encouraging thing, then go ahead and get started on it. What would be my dream reaction for you after hearing this to do would be to stop the video and go do that thing. Go get started on that. Go make that plate of cookies for whoever. Bring something to church. Bring something to your relative. Go visit somebody who's, you know, shut in somewhere. I have no authority. I can't put this on, on everyone. Or I'm not trying to make people feel like, oh, we got a guy crossing on a red pedestrian. Has the right of way, even when they break the law. So, yeah. Long story short go do that thing I don't have the authority to tell you what to do but still it'll make you feel good the gift is to the giver and that's what I have to say today thanks for watching my stuff more to come one more thing that I think is kind of interesting the picture of the helicopter that my little boy Joey you know the monkey beaver dop dom kid the picture was of a helicopter and he had written Bible on it because he knows that this helicopter pilot guy also likes his Bible, right? So to in the mind of a kid, he just is that simple. I'll put two things you like in one spot. Well, he brings it to church and he happens to give it to the guy on the day that he's giving the message. This was just random chance when we happened to... Uh, pick ourselves up by our bootstraps and get this program started he gives it to the guy but what's interesting is that day he was giving a message about encouragement and talking about of all things love notes uh, letters that people send each other to encourage them and it was just so interesting that on that day that family meeting created a gift to give to a guy who was happy to be given a message that day on uh, love note encouragement. I was just like heartwarmed over that. Just wanted to share that with you. Monkey, people, dump, dump.